Good to go. Hello, Star Talkians. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. I'm here at the Tudor City overpass over 42nd Street in Manhattan on Manhattan Henge Day. This is May 30th. You're seeing this live if you're tuned in right at this moment. And this view is all the way across the width of Manhattan. That's miles across Manhattan. Then across the Hudson River to the horizon that is New Jersey. And unfortunately, we get like weather from New Jersey. So any clouds that are gonna come through, Jersey messes with us. But it looks like this is gonna work with us right now. I don't see any clouds, a little bit of haze, a little bit of schmutz on the horizon. But right now, there's several hundred people here on this overpass. If we take a quick look, let me like pivot that around. Yeah, yeah there's a 360. All right. And so, so this happens twice a year, all right? Manhattan has a perfect rectangular grid, and we are on a cross street right now that happens to cut completely through. Not all cross streets will cut completely through. Further north, Central Park gets in the way. Further south, there's the streets that are not straight, left over from when we were colonized by uh, the Dutch, when we were New Amsterdam, they dug you know, they dug canals and things and they didn't care about a grid. The grid came later in the 19th century. And so that's what we are taking advantage of now. So twice a year this happens. The sun doesn't set straight to the horizon. It sets at an angle at, for everyone that lives any place other than the equator. If you, if you live on the equator, it'll always rise and set due east and west, okay? And it can angle like this, but always when you're north of the Tropic of Cancer, north of 23 degrees latitude on Earth, the sun will set at an angle, okay? Which means right now the sun is hiding behind the buildings on the left side of the street, the south side of the street. Very shortly, we will begin to see reflection of the sunlight on the buildings on the right-hand side of the street, on the northern side. And this is Manhattan, so buildings are made of like steel and glass. So it makes for a very striking phenomenon as that happened. And so, I'm, again, I'm a little worried. I'm looking very low on the horizon there, and I'm seeing some, like, Jersey clouds. Very, very low. So I don't know how deep we're going to get this Manhattan Henge phenomenon, but everyone here is in full anticipation of this. That's so, true. Oh, oh, yeah, so say, say hi. This is my people right here. <laughs> These people have been here for hours, by the way. Hours. Okay. So, the, the origin of this is I wanted, I, I visited Stonehenge when I was a kid, when I was like 14. And I said, this is cool. And there's these vertical stones and the sun sets among them. And I said, I'm a native New Yorker and I got tall buildings. Maybe we can do like a Manhattan Henge kind of thing. So I went to Central Park and I looked to see if there are any alignments with the tops of buildings behind the trees. I spent a lot of time and I couldn't do it, find anything. I said, I'll just do the basic one. I know we got a grid. It looks somewhere on the eastern horizon, western horizon. I calculated it up, took a photo of it in the year 2001, published it, and then people started paying attention. Then they started flooding into the streets. First hundreds, then thousands, and now tens of thousands of people are blocking traffic. Finally, for an excuse other than Con Ed digging holes or police activity. So, so finally, we can have a cosmic phenomenon uh, garnering the attention of the masses as it should. So, we are right now 10 minutes away from the sun setting exactly on the horizon right here. So tomorrow, the sun is going to set a little farther north and then even farther north. And it'll just keep doing that until June 21st. When it slows down, stops, solstice, stopped sun, okay? Solstice is Latin for stationary sun. It stops and then reverses. And then it comes back through this zone. So Manhattan Henge occurs on two occasions, around Memorial Day and then in the second week of July. Now, if you talk to anthropologists about what ancient peoples did with the sun, 
they, there's always some connection with the sun. So I'm wondering if in like apocalyptic Earth, where they'll dig up the grid of Manhattan, it'll say, hey, that aligns with the sun on this day of the year and that day. What did they do on those days of the year? Well, one is Memorial Day, and the other one is around baseball's all-star break. So they would conclude that whatever country this was, it was all about war and baseball, I'm thinking, because <laughs> that's what the sun aligns on our grid. So you see it's getting bright right now. In the upper section, I'm still worried about the clouds. I think there are clouds there very low down. There's some clouds very low down. So the sun is going to have to punch through the clouds to give us something good. So we're checking it out. Right now, I don't know if you can see from that angle. Hundreds of people all through 40. We're between First and Second Avenue. I'm just get a sense of the distancing here. Next is Second Avenue, Third Avenue, Fourth Avenue, which is Park Avenue. Then Fifth Avenue, Sixth Avenue, Seventh, Eighth, Ninth, Tenth, Eleventh, Twelfth, West Street, Hudson River. That's another mile, and then the Palisades of New Jersey. So. Again, worried about those clouds coming in. We got everybody in here. Look at that. So, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yes. Uh, a few years ago, uh, Manhattan Henge was absorbed up into the Oxford English Dictionary. So, I'm very honored by that, that they viewed it as a, they have all kinds of words are lifted up every year. So, uh, you know, okay. And they caught up with Manhattan Hedge, and so that's in the Oxford English Dictionary now. And I'm just delighted that the city can participate in a cosmic event. Where people stopped arguing about whatever they were arguing, and everybody's here together. And the universe has a way of doing just that for us all, I think. But all agree, do you think? That the universe does that. The universe can, uh, uh, ha can exalt... Uh, Cosmic thoughts can take your thoughts high above the basal points of argument that always goes on among us all. So, so there it is. You might be able to see also. Oh, we got a drone. The drone action. Oh, everybody smile for the drone. Yeah. Okay. The drone has the best view of the whole thing. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I know. I know. Next time we're gonna do this on a drone for sure. Oh yeah. We've got two drones over there. We got drone battle right there. Oh yeah. You must have went to start this. Oh no. <laughs> so New Yorkers will get together, you know. I know occasionally like we shoot people on the subways and stuff, but you know, that's just occasion that's just occasionally, you know. Cars are getting into it. All right. Now, if you can also see the Chrysler building, I don't know if that's in view. Uh, there's lighting for it. It was striking at night. Okay, and so now there. I don't know that they normally turn them on that soon. Yeah, it could be. You get across the front of it. You know, like yeah, that could happen. So, this is yes, we are live. That, how you know it's live? I'll show you my watch. Okay, got like 8:06. Okay, what time? What, what does digital time have? I have to wind up my watch, people. Oh, it's 8:02. Oh, it's 8:02. Okay, yeah, my, my, my my watch is fast. Sorry, because I had to I, I had to like set it this morning and then wind it. Let me reset it. Oh yeah. So uh, when I first came up with this idea, I thought to myself, surely you could do this in any city, in all cities of the world. Just find a street that terminates on the western horizon. And, and then I realized, no, many cities are in valleys, which means your horizon goes to build it to, to mountains. Uh, other cities, the streets aren't straight, so they don't form a grid. This is three miles of 42nd Street. Uh, notice right now, the north side of the street is getting illuminated by that's reflecting to us. That's a very good sign. And so, so I thought there'd be other cities. I thought this would be coming, but it turned out and it's like, no, no, sorry about that. Uh-uh, 
Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. There's not have like, that. there's not, I'm not having that. <laughs> so there's like a house on the right and a tree on the left. And it's setting on the street, but the hinging of it is total vertical structures, buildings that go high, like in Stonehenge itself. So, so how come people didn't do this like 50 years ago, 100 years ago? The grid comes from the 19th century. And it's because, I think, I think you're not going to be crossing the street and looking to the horizon when a car could hit you. So you are looking carefully as you cross the street, where you're stepping, is a car going to hit you? I want to get to the sidewalk as quickly as possible. Plus, right now it's after work hours, so you don't have the busy coming home. But also, if the sun is in your eyes, you know, the sun's in my eyes, let, let me keep going. There's all these reasons why you would not engage this phenomenon, especially in New York where nobody has a relationship with the sky. So we're coming in good. I love it. It's coming into view. You see some police uh, activity there. They should, let, they should just close the street. Where are you going now? Where, 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 where are you doing? Where are you going? Just, just police get out of the street. Let people be the street. I don't think they heard that. I don't think. I'm just saying. You want me to go tell them? Yeah, you go tell. You go tell. I got people here. I, go tell I got people here. Go tell them. Okay? All right. So, um, other cities, it turns out it's rarer than I thought it would ever be. You go to L.A., they have the Sunset Strip. Okay? So, the sun sets on that street in some segments on some days of the year. But it's not a straight street. It curves. Right? So... How many streets have perfect grids? Even Washington, D.C. has grid. However, it's a circular coordinate system, right? It's not a rectangular coordinate system. So uh, I had not appreciated how rare this phenomenon actually is. So, and you are now, wherever you are in the world, you are participating live in real time. Do I have the right time now? It's 8.05? What time? Digital people? What time do you have? 8.06. 8.06, thank you. I get you. Oh, six, two, six, okay, good. So the sun should appear in a matter of moments, okay? The rotation of the Earth will move the sun its own diameter every two and a half minutes or so. Okay. And so... Oh my gosh, so The sun... I have pod legs here. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Turn cameras. sideways. We put it might cameras. Be easier, it might be easier for you to go on the street, to be honest. Oh, sorry. You, 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 are you crossing through? Okay, coming through. Coming through. Uh, there's nothing there's, there's, but there's, there's tripods all here. Cameras. It's cameras. all you tripods. Have to go back all right, on the move forward a little bit. It's, it's, no, 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 it's no, no, all it's, tripods. It's, you have to go back on the street. I know. I've got it. She believes she can accomplish this. I told you. That's what I said. That's what I said. This is like the time. This is the wall. Yeah. To be in this. I'm sorry. Okay. So, where was I? Sorry, you guys. Oh, by the way, just so you know about 42nd Street, uh, can we turn it? Yeah. So, that's the United Nations back there. Let's show everybody. That's the United Nations right there. See that? Okay. We need like five minutes. United Nations. Wow, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, sure. here comes the sun. What's that Beatles song? Here comes the sun. So wherever you are in the world, again, this happens uh, twice a year. Uh, on two consecutive days, on the first of the two hens days, half of the sun is below the horizon when it sets on the grid. The day after that, in May, the full sun is on the horizon. But right now, you now you can see the clouds that are there. I'm hoping they have some transparency so that we can get a, the beautiful orb of the sun, but I th think that's not what we're gonna get today. Traffic is stopped. Yeah, I love it. Traffic is completely stopped. I love stopping traffic in Manhattan for this, the universe. So we need like some music, like Perfect like break. the music from 2001, you know. Um, oh, he's got here comes the sun. Yeah, he's got the, here comes the sun. You know he got it. You know he's got it. Whole. 
Now there's at least a thousand people in this. By the way, this is for every cross street that cuts through Manhattan. So 34th Street, 14th Street, 23rd Street, uh, even the tiny, those are all the two-way cross streets. Those are all two-way cross streets. Even on the one-way cross streets that are narrow, you would still get this. There's probably fewer people on those streets. And here's what's cool. The sun is basically at infinity, okay? And its light upon reaching Manhattan is all parallel. So it'll hit every single cross street simultaneously. So everyone in every cross street, Manhattan is lit on both its north and south sides, when so often one side of the street is shadowed because we have the canyons of Manhattan. So I've always embraced what Manhattan Henge does as the north and south sides of the street turn aglow. So, so I said the sun will continue to set as the days go by, more and more north. The sun will spend more time in the sky between sunrise and sunset. We call that summertime, right? And then beginning June 21st, the sun will set on its way back. And we'll have a reprise of this on June, uh, on July 11th. Everyone will be here again to check out this same phenomenon. And by the way, in order for it to work and to people to see it and appreciate it, it's got to be clear, right? It's clear above our heads, but Jersey's got the clouds, okay? Just blame Jersey. Any people native to New Jersey here? Yeah. Oh, oh right. Oh, guys, right here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. Okay. We got more Jersey people here? Yeah, we got Jersey right here. Y'all, get back to your state, okay? Why, why you got to do this? <laughs> Actually, Jersey gets its weather from Pennsylvania. There's a prevailing west to east weather patterns across the United States. So if you want to know what weather you're going to have tomorrow, just look, look west. And you have it. And so right now, there it is. Yeah. It's a traffic. I love it. You can just make out the disc of the sun. Give that an applause. All right. You know, it's funny, a few years ago, I was here, and I had on my, my hat and glasses, and I, um, I was in front just trying to get some pictures, and there's an there old lady in the back that said, Down in front, Sonny! <laughs> and so, so I wanted to say, If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be here! I said, No, okay, I'll get down in front. Because she was trying to appreciate the event, and I didn't want to be in her way. So... But, but I, I thought it for a moment. But I thought that no, that'd be that'd be me. We want to spread the cosmic love of all that it is. So, I think we're good here. This this has been Star Talk Live, live. Uh, and I th are we on two channels here, uh, Instagram and YouTube? Hey hey guys, live. Uh, by the way, I see many drones. I mean, we're gonna drone this next time. I'll find a human drone where I can then be in the drone myself. <laughs> That'd be cool. While doing a podcast. While doing a podcast. That's totally, we'll do that. Okay? I never touched a human being before in my life. <laughs> this is an awesome... Oh, it is. It's totally, it's what it is to be human. Longer. Okay? <laughs> okay, everybody. So, I'm going to say goodbye. And you all say goodbye extra, right here? Extra, extra. Okay? all about Everybody it. say goodbye to Instagram, YouTube. Bye, guys. Okay? All right, excellent. Bye, everyone. All right. Good guys. Okay. Thank you for letting you be yourself, Neil. Okay. <laughs> you can probably get I love you on Cosmos, man. Say what? Say what? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Trying to keep the universe going. You can get through that way. You can get through that way. No, no, no. I've got patience with you. Yeah, because okay. I don't want to. It's okay. Oh, not an airdrop? Not an airdrop. I don't know what it is. Oh, good chair. Where's my mic? Where's my mic?